alveolar ducts opens into alveoli which are balloon like structures and they are actually the place where gaseous exchange occurs we can see a blood a rich supply of blood capillaries which is surrounding each alveolus there are over 700 million alveoli in the lungs the lining of the alveolus uh, is moist squamous epithelium consisting of very thin flat cells that reduce the distance across which the diffusion must occur collagen and elastin protein are also present in walls that allow uh, the elasticity of alveoli that means it can expand and recoil easily during breathing we move on to external structure of lungs there are two lungs present in the human the base of the lungs rests over the muscular sheet which is called diaphragm each lung is separated from the other lung because there is present a heart in between the space between the lungs is called mediastinum um, on the concave side of the lungs there is a triangular depression present which is called hilum now girls this is a new thing mediastinum space between the two lungs and hilum is a triangular depression where the blood vessels as well as the airways enters into the lungs lungs are spongy because of the squamous epithelium and presence of alveoli there are the lungs have the, the right lung have three lobes inferior lobe median lobe and superior lobe while left lung has only two lobes the superior and inferior lobe another figure showing the presence of heart in between two lungs uh, this is the figure of alveoli where exchange of gases actually takes place oxygen coming in carbon dioxide moving out RBCs getting a red uh, indicating that they are rich in uh, oxygen while blue RBCs indicate that they are rich in carbon dioxide here exchange of gases takes place oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is released out another very important science statement side information that you must know it's very important surfactant it's a, a film of lipoprotein that line human alveoli why because it lowers surface tension surface tension and prevent them from closing what is them this is alveoli alveoli they uh, open and close because of presence of surfactant if there is no surfactant uh, uh, they may collapse and also this surfactant is keeping the lining of alveoli moist and so that uh, it is permeable to gases surfactant also speed up transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide between air and liquid lining the alveolus it also kills the bacteria now girls there is a um, mp4 video we shall try to open it like always these electronic uh, gadgets it takes time to open um, you may remember the classroom environment
region travels through these bronchioles and reaches the alveoli, each of which is surrounded by a network of capillaries. A section of one alveolus shows the presence of numerous alveolar chambers with pores. Blood, containing RBCs, is seen flowing through the capillaries. The oxygen molecules from the alveolus oxygenation of the RBCs, and a transition in their color from bluish purple to red is observed. The blood moving into the alveolus contains RBCs and carbon dioxide molecules. These molecules are released into the alveolus. The carbon dioxide collects in the alveolar chamber. finally reaches the trachea and is breathed down through the nostrils. All right, girls. This is all that we have done today. I hope it has made everything clear. Let's have a summary of functions and structures of respiratory system. Path of air, in, uh, path of air with structure, description, and function. Structures include nasal cavity, nose, pharynx, larynx, glottis, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, lungs. Nasal cavities are hollow spaces in nose that filter warm and moisten the air. Pharynx is a chamber behind oral cavity and between nasal cavity and larynx. Glottis is opening to larynx. It is a passage of air into larynx. Larynx is cartilaginous organ that connects the vocal cord. Larynx, the primary function of larynx is sound production. Trachea, it's a flexible tube that connects larynx with bronchi. It is passage of air to bronchi. Bronchi, major divisions of trachea that enters the lungs. Bronchi are passage of air into lungs. Bronchioles, branch tubes that lead from bronchi to alveoli. The bronchioles serve as passage of air into each alveolus. Lungs are soft cone-shaped organs occupying a large portion in thoracic cavity. They are the sites of gas exchange because numerous alveoli are present there. This is your assignment for this week. Draw a label diagram of human respiratory system. Please practice it at your homes. Draw and complete following table on your notebook. Uh, structures uh, and you have to write a brief descrip uh, description and function. This table will table and the diagram will help you learn all about uh, human respiratory system. If you have any question regarding this article, um, I am here to ask. You can connect me on contact me on phone. Thank you very much, girl.